Hi and welcome to my channel. Most Filipinos have a sweet tooth. For special occasions, something sweet must always be on the table, as a dessert or even in the main course they tend to look for something sweet. So this is my top 10 Filipino desserts. Let's begin. The first on our list. Halu Halu. Stands for Mix Mix, is a popular Filipino cold dessert which is a concoction of crushed ice, evaporated milk and various ingredients including, among others, water yam, sweetened beans, coconut strips, tapioca, seaweed gelatin, pinup rice, boiled root crops in cubes, fruit slices, lesh flan, and chopped with a scoop of ice cream. Halu Halu is believed to be an indigenized version of the Japanese Kakigiri class of desserts, originating from pre-war Japanese migrants into the islands. Over the years, more native ingredients were added, resulting in the development of the modern Halu Halu. Second in our list. Daho, is a Philippine snack food made of fresh soft, silken tofu, unable, sweetener and flavoring, and tapioca pearls. This staple comfort food is a signature sweet and Toho peddlers can be found all over the country. Most Toho vendors prepare the separate ingredients before dawn. The main ingredient, fresh soft, silken tofu, is processed to a consistency that is very similar to a very fine custard. The brown sugar is caramelized and mixed with water to create a viscous amber-colored syrup called Dunable. Flavors, like vanilla are sometimes added to the Dunable. Tapioca pearls purchased from the local market, are boiled to a gummy consistency until they are a translucent white. Taho vendor, is a common sight in the Philippine streets. They carry two large aluminum buckets that hang from each end of a carrying pole. The larger bucket carries the tofu base, the smaller bucket holds the arnable and tapioca pearls. Third on our list. Maha Blanca is a Filipino dessert made primarily from coconut milk, also known as coconut pudding. It has the consistency of thick gelatine and a delicate flavor, and is creamy white in color. It is relatively easy to prepare. A coconut milk and cornstarch mixture is heated to boiling over a low flame while stirring, corn kernels, milk, and sugar are also often added. Once the mixture thickens, it is then poured into serving dishes previously greased with coconut oil and allowed to cool. Once firm, latik, brown coconut cream curds, are then sprinkled as toppings. It is also often refrigerated and served cold to improve the texture. The corn kernels and latik are used to add different textures to the maha blanca, which, by itself, usually has a creamy texture. fourth on our list. Lesh flan. Is the Filipino version of creme caramel. It is a sweet dish traditionally served as dessert at parties, fiestas, and other special occasions. It is also commonly used as topping for shaved ice such as halu halu or in other treats such as floating island or graham de lesh. Lesh flan is a dessert made up of eggs and milk with a soft caramel on top. It resembles creme caramel and caramel custard. It can also be added as a component to build other great tasting dessert creations. The word lesh means milk in Spanish and lesh flan is a local term derived from the original Spanish lesh de flan, which means milk flan. A dessert was made out of them, which is now known as lesh flan, otherwise known as creme caramel. The Philippine lesh flan is a much heavier version of the original recipe, using more egg yolks and condensed milk. Fifth on our list. Abi Halea is a Philippine dessert made from boiled and mashed purple yam. It is the main base in purple yam flavored pastries and ice cream. It can also be incorporated in other desserts such as halo halu. It is also commonly anglicized as abi jam. The main ingredient is peeled and boiled purple yam which is grated and mashed. The mashed yam, with condensed milk, originally sweetened coconut milk, are added to a saucepan where butter or margarine had been melted. The mixture is stirred until thickened. Once thickened, the mixture is cooled down and placed on a platter or into containers of various shapes. It is typically served cold, after refrigeration. Optional topping includes browned grated coconut, latik, or condensed milk. Sixth on our list. 
Mr. Ron, is a Philippine snack made of thinly sliced bananas dusted with brown sugar, rolled in a spring roll wrapper and fried. Other fillings can also be used together with the banana, most commonly jackfruit, and also sweet potato, mango, cheddar cheese and coconut. Turon is a popular snack and street food amongst Filipinos. These are usually sold along streets with some other desserts and snacks. 7th on our list. Buko salad. Is the Filipino variation of the fruit salad, it is usually made out of mixed fruits, nata de coco, sugar palm, coconut, thickened cream and condensed milk. This dessert is a mainstay in every special occasion in the Philippines like birthdays, fiesta, weddings, Christmas and New Year's dinner. So this coming Christmas you should definitely make one if you haven't tried something like this before. It's one of the easiest desserts to make and there's no cooking involved. 8 on our list. Pitsy Pitsy. Is a Filipino dessert made from cassava, water, sugar and lye. The cassava is first peeled, grated, and washed. The grated cassava is then mixed with water, sugar, and lye and then the mixture is transferred into pans or molds which are then put in the steamer until the mixture is cooked and soft. The cooked pitsy pitsy can then be rolled on freshly grated coconut or topped with grated cheese and latik. Some vendors add food coloring to the mixture prior to steaming to create colorful variants of the dessert. Ninth on our list. Suman. Is a rice cake originating in the Philippines. It is made from glutinous rice cooked in coconut milk, often wrapped in banana leaves, coconut leaves, for steaming. It is usually eaten sprinkled with sugar or laden with latik. Suman is also known as Budbod in the Visayan languages that dominate the central half of the country. A widespread variant of Suman uses cassava instead of glutinous rice. Tenth on our list. Sorbitis. Is the traditional variation of ice cream made in the Philippines. Often pejoratively called dirty ice cream, it is distinct from the similarly named sorbet. Beddled by street hawkers, it is usually served in small wafer or sugar cones and more recently, bread buns. It is uniquely made from either coconut milk or ordinary milk. Ice cream was introduced in the Philippines during the American occupation when refrigerators and other cooling devices were introduced. While American ice cream was made with cow's milk, using the milk of the carabao, resulted in a cheaper product which became known as sorbitis. Both kinds of milk are widely used today. Coconut milk and cassava flour are two other ingredients used that make sorbitis distinct from ice cream made in other countries. Flavors also varied from the usual natural fruits and plants such as mango, water yum, avocado, melon, jackfruit, coconut and strawberry to flavors imitating commercial ice cream such as chocolate, cookies and cream, cheese, mocha, etc. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.